The rise and the fall of a powerful dynasty in South Carolina. Alex Murdoch, a former prominent attorney, is now a convicted murderer. Jurors found him guilty in a Colton County courtroom more than a month after he went on trial for the deaths of his wife and son. Queen City News anchor Morgan Francis breaks down this southern scandal and what all led up to the verdict. It's a crime and a trial that's captured the nation. The downfall of a prominent South Carolina family after 52-year-old Maggie Murdoch and her 22-year-old son Paul were shot and killed on their Colleton County property. <laughs> June 7th, 2021. I think the police have my wife and child got badly. Maggie's husband and esteemed South Carolina attorney Alec Murdoch called 911 after finding their bodies at the dog kennels on their sprawling estate. I've been up to it now. It's bad. Okay. Oh. Okay. And are they breathing? No, ma'am. It was just three months later that he claimed someone also tried to kill him. I got a flat tire. Mm -hmm. And I stopped. And somebody stopped to help me. And when I turned my back, they tried to shoot me. Murdoch later revealed he hired Curtis Smith, a friend and his alleged drug dealer, to end his life. So your intent was to have him kill you so he could collect your life insurance, right? So my son could. I mean, I knew I was about to lose everything. And I figured he's better off that way than dealing with me. The lie and shocking double murder unraveled years of alleged financial crimes and questions surrounding other untimely deaths. Richard Ellett Murdoch, are you guilty or not guilty of the felonies wherein you stand indicted? Not guilty. Alec Murdoch, facing charges in a hundred financial crimes, was eventually charged with the double murder. I am going to testify. I want to testify. In a shocking twist, Murdoch took the stand. The prosecution painted the picture of a man who was falling apart at the seams. Let's talk a little bit uh, about the pills. Confessing to his opioid addiction. So you're taking 60 a day or something like that? I mean, there were days where I took more than that. Confessing he stole millions of dollars from his firm, clients, and friends. And why did you have to pay that money back? Because Alex stole it as well. Your dad was stealing money from clients? Did yes, you know sir. anything about that? No, sir. A habitual liar. Once I lied, I continued to lie. Yes, sir. Why? You know, oh, what a tangled web we weave. But once I told a lie, I mean, I told my family, I... I had to keep lying. The morning of the murders, an executive at Murdoch's former law firm confronted him about hundreds of thousands of dollars in missing funds. I told him, I said, I have reason to believe that you received the fairest money directly to you and you need to prove to me that you did not. While the prosecution claimed Alec killed his wife and son to distract from his financial house of cards, Murdoch's defense argued the alleged crimes had nothing to do with the murders. This is a long story. My son was in a boat wreck a, a few months back. He's been getting threats. Most of it's been benign stuff we didn't take serious. But I, I do think there's been a small amount of yip yap. Early on, Murdoch established with authorities that he believed his wife and son were killed by a social media vigilante over a 2019 boating wreck where allegedly drunk and underage, his son Paul crashed a boat killing 19-year-old Mallory Beach. It's a theory he testified to when he took the stand weeks into his trial. I did then believe it was the boat wreck and I believe now that the boat wreck. While authorities never found a smoking gun in Maggie and Paul's murders, they claimed evidence put Murdoch at the scene on June 7th. Multiple witnesses testified they heard Maggie, hey, he's got birds in his mouth. Paul, hey, Bubba. and Alec Murdoch in a Snapchat video taken by Paul at 8.44 p.m., just five minutes before his phone went dark forever. Did the defendant repeatedly deny ever being at the kennels at that yes. time period? Yes, he did. Various interviews with law enforcement. Alec lied for 20 months, saying he was never at the dog kennels the night Maggie and Paul were killed and was instead sleeping at the home several hundred yards away before leaving at 9.06 to visit his ailing mother. Did you lie to Sled Agent Owen and Deputy Laura Rutland 
on the night of June 7th? I did lie to them. Did you lie to them t by telling them that you were not down at the kennels on that night? Yes. The evidence is also going to show from these things that every one of us, most of us carry around in our pocket, that he was there. Both sides used cell phone evidence to meticulously reconstruct Alex's whereabouts that night. At 7.56, Paul sent a Snapchat video of him laughing with his dad <laughs> as a tree falls over on their property. From 8.09 to 9.06, Alex's phone records zero steps. He told investigators he was at the home taking a nap. But at 8.44, audio in that infamous Snapchat video indicates Maggie, Paul, and Alec were at the kennels together. At 8.49, both Maggie and Paul's phones lock forever. Investigators believe the two were shot around 8.50. Paul, twice with a shotgun with one blast to the head, and Maggie, five times with a rifle. At 8.53, Maggie's phone shows activity on the face ID, but doesn't unlock, indicating her phone was in someone else's hands. At 9.06, Alex's phone comes to life, recording 70 steps a minute as he makes multiple calls and texts to family and friends. GPS data shows Alec left to visit his mother around this time. Maggie's phone was found a quarter of a mile away the next afternoon, the same area where GPS data shows Alec drove his Suburban. It wasn't until 10.05 p.m. that Alec returned to the kennels, calling 911 20 seconds after he parked his car. He asked me if I was sitting down, and I was like, yeah. And then he, you know, sounded odd, and then he, then he told me that, that my mom and, and brother had been shot. I, I kind of just sat there for a minute, and I was, I was in shock. To find Alec Murdaugh guilty of murdering his son, you're going to have to accept that within an hour of having a extraordinarily bonding, you can see it in the Snapchat, that he executes him in a brutal fashion. Not believable. Family and friends have testified about Alec's unwavering love for his family, but also acknowledge the man they knew is not the man they now know. The person I thought I knew loved his family or appeared to love his family very much. He'd take their calls, he'd do all of those things. After, you know, September the 3rd, I'm not sure I know that person. His family was there for him. The morning of the murders while Alec was being confronted about missing funds from his firm, he got a phone call that his dad's health took a turn for the worse. Alec asked Maggie to be with him at Moselle. Mr. Randolph was not doing well at all and Alec really wanted her to come home that night. She hadn't planned on it, um, but that he needed her to come home, and um, Paul was going to be there too. And I said, well, Maggie, I said, you know, Alec and his dad are super close, and that's probably what you should do. You encouraged her to go to Moza? I did. Was that the last time you talked to her? Yes. In the days and months following the murders, witnesses testified Murdoch was both distraught. Yeah, his demeanor was, I mean, he was destroyed. He was heartbroken. And acting odd. His number one goal was clearing Paul's name. And I thought that was so strange because my number one goal was to find out who killed my sister and Paul. Both sides sparred about the possibility of a second shooter and bullet trajectory specifically with the fatal shot to Paul's head. Uh, my opinion is the totality of the evidence is more suggestive of a two-shooter scenario. The defense agreed with the assessment that Paul stood there for a moment, bleeding down his injured left arm, and he slowly walked toward the door. Okay, and what does the shooter do? The shooter's coming in the door. And then what does the shooter do? He shoots Paul in the back of the head after he passes him. Okay. So what did you find odd about the theory, first of all? I think the theory is preposterous, in my opinion. The defense harped on authorities for sloppy police work, not properly securing the crime scene, leaving their own footprints, and leaving evidence. just infuriated me that this young man had been murdered and there were still his remains there. I saw blood, I saw brains, I saw pieces of skull. Um, and for some reason, 
I thought it was mine. Something that, that I needed to do for Paul to clean it up. Murdoch vehemently denied he took their lives. Did you shoot a 300 blackout into her head, causing her death? Mr. Griffin, I didn't shoot my wife or my son any time. When was the last time you were here with them? Or talked to them or anything like that? Um. It was earlier tonight. Uh, I, don't, I don't know the exact time, but okay. I left. I was probably gone an hour and a half from my mom's, and I saw them about 45 minutes before that. That was Sergeant Green, correct? That, yeah, that was Sergeant Green. And at that point in time, SLED was not there. No one had been, gotten GSR from you. Your law partners or Sheriff Hill were not there. That's correct. No one had asked you about your relationships. David Owen was not there. That's correct. But you still told the same lie. And all those reasons that you just gave this jury about the most important part of your testimony was a lie to. Isn't that true, Mr. Murdoch? I, I disagree with that. Nothing further. The state versus Richard Alexander Murdoch defendant, indictment for murder, guilty verdict.